Hey, good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday, wherever you're at today. Uh, today, I am leaving uh, Chambon sur Lignon. I'm going to drive to Lyon. Uh, I'm going to do tests there tomorrow and then back to the US. So, traveling day today and uh, starting it with a quick cafe crème in uh, my town here. There's a market on, you see behind me. It's kind of overcast today, but. Uh, Hmm. Hey, in a second, I want to jump into some thoughts on uh, living with intention. How to live, um, not live by accident, but really live out the plan of God for every day. Um, mention a couple of things as well. This coming weekend, I'm going to be speaking in Sturbridge Worship Center in the morning. Uh, actually talking about sacrifice and suffering and um, having a biblical worldview on suffering. Um, I think it's an interesting thing, but God better than we think he is, but he also calls us to suffer more than we want to. Let me say that again. God has a better life. We, God is the goodness of God. We minimize that. But at times we also minimize the degree to which we're going to go through tough times. And I try to give a, I think if we don't have a biblical worldview on that, what we'll end up doing is having no worldview on it. And when suffering hits, we're like, Pah! we fall apart like a $2 suitcase. <clears throat> or what most Christians I do I see do is have a theology which is formed by fortune cookies and cute devotionals and things like that uh, so um, that would be that one good hey let me show something real quick today but um, Paul talks in Ephesians 5 about <clears throat> it says awake you who sleep rise from the dead <clears throat> excuse me Christ will give you light and then he says redeem the time because the days are evil and I just want to get you thinking for a few moments today. What's God's plan for your life today? What's God's plan for my life today? For those of you watching in America, I probably <clears throat> woke it up as some of you were going to bed. So I probably woke up about midnight yesterday American time, but maybe I'm ahead on the curve with this one. But how does God want us to live today? What's his plan for the day? What's his vision for the day? Um, I think it's probably true to say this as well. Most of you, for most of you, this will be true as well. It's very easy to lose time, isn't it? You don't have to do anything and you manage to waste time. If you just sit there doing nothing, time still goes by. I hear sometimes <clears throat> people talk about saving time as if like you can put it in a bank or put it in a bag somewhere. No, all of us get 24 hours and it's very easy to waste time. All you need to do is do nothing. And then for most of us, life has a way of <clears throat> just throwing endless things at us which consume our time, which in a way dictate our agenda <clears throat> um, in a way that maybe isn't God's plan for our life. At times it can be, but I think if we simply allow the, the latest and the loudest to crowd our thinking and our agenda, we can be in real trouble. So, come on, how do we... How do we deal with that? Number one, I think God's got a plan for every day. Yeah? You know, if I were to come and say to you, God's got a plan for your life, I think most of us would accept that. We'd go like, yeah, great, God's got a plan for my life. But God's got a plan for this week. God's got a plan for this year. God's got a plan for this day. And I think he doesn't make it hard to catch his heart and his plan for this day. So how do we do that practically? Firstly, we should live with intention. And by that, I think it's a really great thing to do at the beginning of the day, to pray, to commit our ways to the Lord, literally commit our days to the Lord, to, I don't mean in a religious way, to pray that he will order our steps, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way, and commit our time, commit our Wednesdays to the Lord, and Thursdays and Tuesdays, and ask him to guide us, ask him to protect us from the devourer. It's interesting, most people have heard about that scripture about the devourer, from Malachi 3 in terms of tithes and offerings, money. We hear a lot about inflation these days and if you will, the devourer, the canker worm eating away at your money. Can I, can I suggest to you, you can get money back. I mean, money is important. Time is more important than money. It's harder to redeem time than it is to redeem money, but God can redeem everything. So I would be praying and committing our ways to the Lord. Uh, there's a great little phrase Jesus uses in the quote-unquote the Lord's Prayer. You know where he says, deliver us from temptation? A better translation, I think it's the NIV, it says, lead us away from temptation. Lead us in paths that walk away from temptation. And um, there's times God can deliver you from temptation. There's times God can just take you, take you on a, can recalibrate the route so you don't even go near temptation. Now, 
I'm probably thinking in the context of this this little video today more about the temptation to waste time the temptation to do things that are simply not God yeah they came to uh, Nehemiah in the book of Nehemiah and said with all of these temptations if you will to give up the thing God had called him to do and do something God hadn't called him to do come let us meet in the valley of Ono come let us go in the temple and you know Nehemiah's answer often is like I'm not a priest I'm not called to be in the temple I'm called to build a wall and I think <clears throat> to pray at the beginning of your day and say Lord guide my steps today and help me help me set up my day well lead me away from things which will waste my time lead me away from things which will lead me into sin obviously but actually just into wastefulness and um and lastly i would say this have a have a vision at the beginning of your day how does god want you to live this day really our life is made up by the choices we make every day and i think god loves it when we'll begin a day by saying lord who do you want me to be today not so much what do you want me to do not what but who who do you want me to be how do you want me to walk with you if if today was the sum total if you took my relationship with you today lord and times it by ten thousand, it became the standard for the rest of my life how would that be that's a really 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 good question yeah i mean could you live can you what holy ghost habits what kingdom habits can you create today that you'll walk in for the rest of your life um, can you make today a model day if your family if your neighbors if the great cloud of witnesses if everybody were watching your day from a to z if the lord chose to chose one day from your life to kind of film it like in a movie and show to everybody let today be that day live a model day yeah um this is my second closing, but come on, live a day of grace as well. God's, have grace. God has grace for the day. Sufficient to the day is the evil thereof. And uh, sometimes we're trying to have grace for what God's going to call us to do in 10 years. That's nice. But why not have grace simply for the day? Why not receive, give us this day, our daily bread. God's got the bread. I've just had a croissant. He's got the coffee. He's got the gas. He's got the grace you'll need today. Believe you receive it by faith begin thanking him for it um here's my third closing as well <laughs> come on be the prophet over your own life today don't say oh i wonder what, what my day will bring today i wonder what it will be like tell your day what it will be like um stand over your day like you know the prophets of old if you will and say this is the day the lord has made today of rejoicing today of grace today of goodness today of celebration I'm really going to enjoy today. Today's going to be powerful in God. Tell your day, tell yourself, tell your soul how it's going to walk with God today. And uh, that will really work. Live with kingdom intention, rather live, with, live by design rather than living by accident. Boom. Hope that helps you guys. Hey, hit the subscribe button if you're new here as well. Check out the links below. Drop me a line and uh, love to hear from you soon. Bye for now.